right, so we're gonna do some trash picking tonight, and I'm coming up on this first stop. I don't have my trailer yet. I just left uh, my house and a couple streets down with all this stuff. So what I'm gonna do is take what I can. I'm gonna take this chair, take that table that, some, I'm gonna take some stuff that I can take. And uh, well, I'm gonna come back home if this other stuff's here, I'll go ahead and take it too. Desk. Then have for the keyboard, so I might leave that there. Got this nice mirror. Goes to a dresser. Got this headboard, footboard thing. Cellophane wrap. I don't know, the only thing that might be worth taking would be this guy. But we'll, we'll see. I'm sure I'm taking this. Yeah, I load that up. And I, I don't know, we might come back to that. I don't know if these are vintage or not, but we've been holding on to that one. This is cool right here. This is not the right Bunch of books. Take the books. Go through them at home. If anything, donate them. <clears throat> you know, hit up this neighborhood because they had a community sell this weekend. So I was hoping to find a bunch of good stuff today, but so far I've been rather slow, but we'll see. Okay guys, well I don't ever do this, but this has got to be one of the coolest Halloween decorations I've ever seen. You got the very cool um, scene to Stranger Things. Look at this. Look at this, guys. That is so awesome. She's seriously floating in the air like that. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Then you got this guy over here. Super awesome. You got that dude up there. Of course, 11. Such a cool, such a cool decoration, man. Hey guys, stay tuned, keep watching, because here in a minute, we're gonna announce the winner for the necklace that I'm gonna give away. Plus, I've picked out a bracelet that's gonna match. I think you guys gonna like it. All right, so we've had quite the event for weekend. Uh, some garage sales, a little bit of trash picking, not a whole lot, uh, just enough to get you guys a short video, but I'm not going to go with the stuff that I found trash picking because you guys pretty much see everything that it was. You got the bench, you have a couple books, um, not a whole lot, but I did want to show you some stuff that I found over the weekend garage selling. I had a really good weekend of garage selling, and uh, that's part of 
the channel that you don't see too much of because I'm just not a fan of recording garage sale videos, but I do like recording what I find and I don't think a lot of y'all like to watch what I find. So I'm gonna start doing this a little bit more often of just showing you garage sale hauls and try to pair it up with a uh, trash picking video. So I'm gonna go through some of these stuffs that I found. All right, so I'm gonna start off with this right here. We had a box full of vinyl records. It ended up being about a hundred and I'm gonna say about 170 is what I think it was. Now, I like to buy all the records when I do something like this, uh, cause I can get, especially when I get a really, really good deal. Uh, and mind you guys, even though it's a good deal, it's a lot of work getting all these things listed. Um, crazy, so I'm gonna try to go through these pretty quickly and not spend too much time, but I wanna show you guys a quick, quick view of what we got. That's a good one, White Snake. Betty Wright. Betty Wright. Mark Tucker Band. Teals and Crop. Steely Dan. Cat Stevens. Nina Simone. There's a lot of good Nina Simone uh, albums in here. Survivor, different Starship, a bunch of Van Morrison, like a lot, a lot of Jethro Toll also. But when you get them for the price that I get them for, um, ooh, that's a good one, Luther Vandross. You know, I just go ahead and get them all and be done with it. Triumph, Thin Lizzy, some more Nina Simone, more Jethro. I don't know who this guy is. Andreas, Andreas Volenweider. I don't know who that is. I don't know what kind of music he plays or sings. But he's a bunch of, he has a bunch of those too. And these are probably, you know, records that you can get out there and, you know, put four bucks on, five bucks. Unless it's something that I just don't know and I need to do some more research on. Garfunkel, some more Van Morrison, War, Jethro Tull, Jethro Tull, there's a bunch of Jethro Tull, as you can see, and there's not a bunch of like really just great records in here, um, Breakfast Club, that's okay one, Genesis is okay, another Genesis one, but the good thing about these records is that they're in really good condition. Uh, Ray Charles, VTO, The Cars, this is a good one, Peter Frampton, Comes Alive, that's a good album, really good condition, Hollow Notes, Crosby, Stills and Nash, some more Nina Simone, there's a lot of Rod Stewart, some Teddy Pendergrass, Rush, that's a good, good album. Culture, culture, more Rush, Van Morrison. Let's see, Thick as a Brick, <laughs> Jeff Rotel, Scorpions. That's a cool one. Uh, who goes? Let's go look at these. Rod Stewart, Nina Simone, Nina Simone, more Rod Stewart, more Rod Stewart, some Bruce Springsteen, that's a good one, Bruce Springsteen, Rod Stewart, Bruce Springsteen, that's a good one, another good one, Dire Straits, Streisand, Rod Stewart, Stewart, more Van Morrison, Bob Marley and the Whalers, that's a good album. Van Morrison, the best of Van Morrison. Woo! Johnny Mathis. I don't know who this guy is. Oh, Van Morrison. Eddie Money. <laughs> Bob Marley. I like these Bob Marley ones. 
Mathis, American Pie, Don McLean. That's a good album. The Miracles, Jethro Tull, Jethro Tull, Jethro Tull. And you can see there's a lot of Jethro Tull in here, guys. The Singing Staples, Billy Stewart. This is a cool one, Molly Hatchet, as this one is, Triumph. Steely Dan, Nina Simone, Billy Stewart. All right, along with that, we had a bunch of CDs. This is a little book of CDs. All right, here's some other stuff that I found. A bunch of CDs. This this all came from the same place, all the CDs. But um, a bunch of eight tracks. These I'm always look for stuff like this. Ducktales is kind of cool. Dracula, Batman, Legend of Werewolf. That's a good one. King Kong vs. Godzilla. Tremors is a great VHS. And then you got Star Wars Crawl. This one here I thought was really cool. X-Men. I think that'll do good. Excalibur. And right now, with Halloween coming around the corner, Hocus Pocus. That's going to be uh, definitely one that sells real quick. More CDs. I'm not going to go through all these. As you can see, it's a bunch. Some DVD movies that are uh, like concerts and this VHS one. Alright, now to get to some of the more, well I like to say fun stuff. Um, let's go right here. I was at a garage sale. And this lady had all these, this whole Nintendo Wii set. And uh... This Nintendo Wii U is what it is. So you got that. You have the, the main docking station. You've got man, two controllers. You've got two handheld ones like this. You've got a couple steering wheels, a couple chargers, all the stuff right there, the paperwork. You got some really good games, guys. Super Mario Smash Brothers for Wii U. That's a great game. Hyrule Warriors, another great game. Nintendo Land, I'm not sure about that one. Looks like it's a good one. Skylanders is a good game. Mario Kart is a great game. And Pac-Man 2. I paid 20 bucks for all these. I promise you, probably this game alone, without even checking, is going to pay for all of this. Without even checking. So I paid 20 bucks for all that. That's a great, great set. I was happy to get that. Picked up this cool little guy here that I'm going to put at the booth. I don't know who it's made from. I'll have to take off this little green sticker, but... It's a little, little bird perched on a, on a piece of wood there. Ceramic. You had the John Deere tractor. It's a salt and pepper shaker. You had a bunch of jewelry. I know y'all like the jewelry. Let's take a look at the jewelry. These are good little sets here. Each one of these bags is three bucks. And, uh, let's go ahead and do this for y'all so I can take a look at them. We had a bunch of different earrings. Coral. These are all, this is vintage. These coral earrings. sure if that says anything on it or not these are real pretty see that this is nice now I didn't even look at them when I was there at the at the at the garage sale when I saw three bucks for each bag I just grabbed them all it's like a no-brainer for me because I know this stuff sells real easy let's see Another set of coral earrings. Coral, coral, how do you say it? Alright, so we got a matching set for every pair. See that? Hopefully, it shows up good on the camera. So that's that set. You got this real nice Stella and Dot necklace. Um, this is three dollars itself, but Stellan Dot sells really well. Uh, you'll probably be seeing this one 
on the Iris's Macari page. It's a very pretty necklace. It was a Stella and Dot. You got the turquoise little stones there. A very nice piece. You'd be expecting that on Iris's Macari. If you don't know Iris's Macari, so if you don't know Iris's Macari, what you're going to need to do is go into the description of the video, and I'll put a link down there. You're going to click on it. Um, if it doesn't work, go to Macari, open up your Macari, and search for hashtag Texan Picker, one word, hashtag Texan Picker, and then uh, it'll be able to pull up everything that she's listing. She's putting that hashtag Texan Picker on it, so you guys can find it, find it through that, and let's keep on going with the rest of this jewelry. So we got this last bag of stuff right here that I'll show y'all of jewelry that is. Got these little earrings there. Got this cute little stud earrings here. Don't think these are gold. No, they're not. They're just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. I hope that these are all paired up. They look like they are. Who makes this brand? What brand is this? Just a bunch of little, I think these are cute with a little cross. That. There. Try to get all these separated out. But you got an idea of what's in here without me going through every single one of these. And of course, I'll take a really, really good look to make sure that nothing of this is gold, which at a glance right now, just looking at these, um, doesn't appear for any of this to be gold, which is fine. Because to pay three bucks for all these earrings, I mean, I'll get three dollars. I'll get more than three dollars for just one pair of these earrings. Look at these. These are real cute. These are like a like a chandelier. Those are really popular right now. The chandelier earrings. So just like I said, I will take some of these to the booth. Some of these other ones might go on the Mercari page. Just keep an eye on that for that. Be seeing some of this stuff out there. All right, moving on. What else do we have? Oh yeah, so we got this really fun <laughs> little cat. It's like a piggy bank looking thing, but it's not a piggy bank. It's just a cat. And uh, let me put it over here so you can get a good look at it. But he looks like a piggy bank. See how fat he is? <laughs> I'm going to put that at the booth. I'm not sure how much I'm going to put for him. Um, what do y'all think? I'm thinking about... 10 15 bucks maybe he's a really cute cat and people love to buy stuff that's cat these cat people man they love to buy stuff you know cat related they i mean more so than dogs you know i know people love their dogs but man people that love their cats they buy more stuff that's cat related than anybody else let's see put that there we found this really nice mini mouse teapot for five bucks it's got a sticker underneath it that says it was 38 dollars Bought at the Disney store. I'm going to look this up to see if they're comping for more. Because a lot of times these Disney stuff like this, even though they were sold for 38 bucks, they could sell for more. And then you got the Winnie the Pooh. I got a bunch of these fishing poles. The lady just basically gave me, she $5 for all these fishing poles. Um, I, I just, I couldn't pass them up. Got this Hurley uh, bag. I got them mainly for the, for the buttons. I got a feeling that these buttons are going to be worth some money. The Hurley bag might be worth some money. But um, I had all these buttons on here with this little rabbit. And they say different little things. This one says, you smell like duty. <laughs> it's all about me. Deal with it. Whatever you moron. I don't know. A little bit vulgar. But, you know, not not too bad. This one here is passing gas. <laughs> this one says, kiss my butt, I guess. It has a little lipstick, lips, lips on the, his booty. And, uh... You got this guy here, this guy there, German on the guitar, and that guy on the skateboard. And uh, I just got a feeling this is worth some money. So then I was at another garage sale where it was cool because um, I was there and I, and I had some lady uh, recognize me. So I forgot her name. I'm so sorry. But uh, if you are watching this video, I just want to say it was very nice to meet you. Uh, I'm so glad that you came up to me to say hi because I always love uh, when the viewers, if you recognize me and see me on the streets, please say hi. Um, don't 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 be embarrassed or shy to come say hi to me because I really do appreciate you guys viewing and uh, and, uh, and do you guys like like to meet y'all when you when you guys see me so um, I forgot your name I'm so 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 sorry but it was very nice to meet you and I'm glad you came up to me and said hi uh, we're looking at these hats together actually and uh, I picked up this one here this Dallas Cowboys hat it's this leather uh, this is vintage here 
um, Team NFL Genuine Leather made in the USA. Uh, you know they're vintage when they're made in the USA. A lot of stuff now is made in China. So that's a nice hat there. I got another vintage Cowboys hat. That's a good looking hat there. And of course you got Texas Tech Red Raiders vintage. Uh, it's the, um, the trucker hat. Really good looking hat. And then I just got a bunch of these little eggs. Of course I'm using real estate. And uh, whenever Easter comes around, what she does is she does uh, like little Easter baskets for some of her clients um, and uh, does what she calls little pop buys. Um, She'll go by and uh, leave like a little gift with a card, maybe some candies for the kids, uh, and with a little note, you know, saying that she appreciates their business and stuff like that. It's real cute. So anytime we find Easter eggs like that or Christmas stuff, we always pick it up. All right, next thing I'm going to show you guys is all these Funko Pops, and uh, I'm going to set them up over here, and uh, so you can look through them together. So hang tight. All right, guys. So here's some more stuff that I found, <laughs> and you can tell, guys. I'm telling you, I all had a busy weekend. So. This guy had this one priced at 15 and these between five to eight dollars. Alright. There's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. And then the big one. What he ended up doing was selling me all these for what do we say? 65 bucks? Yeah, 65 dollars. So we and he ended up doing three dollars on each one of these and this one for five bucks. This one here alone is in a comp for about 30 bucks by itself. I'll try to put comps for as many of these as I can while I'm doing this. But you got this Mandalorian with Child, the larger pop. Boba Fett, Boba Fett, those are the same. Mandalorian with Child, small one. A different Boba Fett. Bo-Katan. I'm not even going to try that one. Stormtrooper, Ren, another Boba Fett, that dude, Imperial, Super Commando, Mona, and Pua, I'm sorry, Moana. Then you've got that guy from Seinfeld, this guy's from Seinfeld, 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 Mrs. Potato Head, and Moira Rose, whoever that is. So, $65 for all these, that's gonna give me 30 bucks. If I get about 10 each, I'm in the positive right here, and all this is all profit. Had a bunch of games, paid two bucks a piece. This one's brand new, hasn't even been open. So that by itself is gonna make me more than my money back. But you got Xbox One, Far Cry, Titanfall, Assassin's Creed, uh, Squadrons by Star Wars, and, and Assassin's Creed Origins. And then another sell picked this guy up. Lady wanted five bucks for this Lego set. It's never been open. Uh, I'll probably get to get about 30, 40 bucks for this guy right here. All right, moving on. We got this built racing motorcycle motocross racing suit with the boots. This is a uh, Pretty good little uh, get up here. Size 11 boots. I don't know what size this thing is. But guys, this is this is uh, got the skid plate on the back. Pads on the shoulders. Elbows. Got thick leather, knees. This guy here, I'm gonna put comfort right here for what I think these can sell for. 42, built racing. I paid 20 bucks. <laughs> 20 bucks for this guy. And he's going to see how much this thing sells for. All right, moving on with the vintage toy theme. We're going to start right here with this Western Mickey and Minnie. Walt Disney with the tag there. Uh, this is vintage. It's not going to be really old. Let's see if I can find a year on this guy. Don't see a year on this one. Let's see on the tag. Sri Lanka don't see any year on this guy but I'll be posting comps so you guys get a look at that I think it's vintage I would say it's probably from the 90s I'm assuming just based on 
the age of these other toys. So we got the Mickey, we got the Mini. Both of these came from the same house, along with all this. All this came from the same house. Got this guy here. It looks like it's Peter Pan, a little puppet. That's what I'm thinking, maybe. Is it Peter Pan? Um, some Jurassic Park toys. Another, is this Jurassic Park as well? Hasbro. No, that might be Star Wars. But uh, these toys are here, man. 1997. Uh, some of these old toys go for some good money. These plastic ones. Got the, the what was a sperm whale? No, narwhal. Narwhal. Got the hippo. And these guys are heavy. They're heavy. Scorpion. Baby cub. Got the lion. Of course, the saber tooth tiger. Got some giraffes. Iris' favorite spider. <laughs> Got this little figure. I wonder what that's from. I wonder if it's one of the Jurassic Park toys. So you got all those. All right, guys, help me out. What is this from? It's a three-faced troll. I feel like this is from a movie or something like that, but I just, I cannot place this. Do y'all recognize this? Because I, I just, I just can't place this. It looks familiar. So I'll put that there. Got a 1974 Megacorp Spider-Man doll. Pretty good right there. Oh, it looks, feels like his foot broke. Yeah, his foot's broken in here, unfortunately. Got the Rugrats doll here, a little plush Tommy. Does it make any noise? It doesn't do nothing, it's just a plush. But uh, that's definitely from the 90s. I'm not sure if this is G.I. Joe. I don't think it is, but I could be wrong. But this is from the 90s as well. Then you got brand new guys. Sealed in box. You got the Blue Ranger. It's the Automorphin Billy. And then you have the Automorphin Green Ranger. Tommy. Now the funny thing is, for those who remember, Tommy also played the White Ranger. But you got this plush here. And you got that plush there. You got the official Ninja Turtles Treasury. I've never seen one of these before. But apparently you'd be able to order stuff. From this, from this book, I guess. Clock wallet, snowboard, ski. I mean, there's a bunch of cool stuff in here. Different toys. So this is a good reference book to be able to see uh, what you know accessories came with the different toys. So something I might. Might hold on to it, might sell, I'm not sure, but it's a really cool book. I picked this up right away. And of course, you got the My Pal 2. Um, I think the back is going to be in one of those boxes over there because I want to say it was in there, but it looks very, very clean. It's not all, you know, messed up. And I uh, got all these toys right here. Power Rangers, those two big ones, the Tommy, all the animals, the plush. I paid up a little bit, I think, but I think I'll still make some good money. Spent 30 bucks on all these. Oh yeah, see here's the back to that guy. What is it? Oh yeah, it's a VHS. So, <laughs> so you got new kids on the block. Definitely gonna sell at the booth. Another new kids on the block. All these are so easy. Nolan Ryan, feel the heat. George Strait Live. Who does not like George Strait? Astrodome. 25 year anniversary, silver anniversary showpiece. This has never been opened. So that's a good one there. You got Top Gun. And lastly over here you got Pulp Fiction. Good movie. Special collector's edition. And I want to say I spent 50 cents a piece at this at a garage sale. Over here. Oh, look at this. This is a dollar. I saw it and, and I, knew, I knew it was special. But 
Let me see. Let's see I'm breaking it again. We got this little cathedral. This goes right here on top. Look at this beauty. It's got the stained glass inside of it. Um, it's got a light, but it didn't work, so I'm pretty sure all it is is a light bulb. But what makes this, for me, the most awesome thing. Let's see. I'll be able to change that light bulb right there. It's back here. This is where it's at. Play Silent Night. Oversee Hong Kong. I'm gonna put comps right here. Christmas is coming up. I think I should do a real world with this one. I said I think I paid 50 cents, maybe a dollar for this thing. One too much. Really happy about that purchase. That's a good one. Let's see. I also picked up these jerseys. Maybe times for five bucks. These are uh, giveaways that they give it at the Astro at the Astros games. I want to say this is a Bergman jersey. She had five bucks. She sold it to me for a dollar. And I'll ask her if, if that was the best price for both of them. She says, yeah, sure, you want both of them for a dollar? Each. I was like, oh, uh, yeah. Um, another Bregman one. And uh, two bucks for those. And lastly, got this guy right here. Now, I don't know. I'm going to do some research on this guy. It's kind of a cool piece right there. Can y'all see it? It's kind of dark. There you go. Maybe I'll put it right here. Just over. It's like a a native woman of Mexican South American descent. Got the head piece there with the feathers, the necklace. Made in Mexico. They only had five bucks, but I got a feeling this would be worth a little bit more money than five bucks. Really nice piece. I just sat there and I was looking at it and it just caught my attention. I don't know. I liked it. It's a real nice piece. Stay there. All right. I think that's it, guys. If it wasn't enough. Oh, then this guy has all his We're garage selling. I saw this thing out there and uh, someone was throwing it away. So I picked that up. But uh, along with it, with some other stuff, I got this Mirror's Edge Assassin's Creed game guide, Prince of Persia game guide, this game guide, and that game guide there. Let me close this up before it tips over on me. And then there's something else in here. Yeah, see? Got this bottle opener for wine. Call of Duty, World of War, PC game, day by day, I'm getting, and you had these, I have no idea what this is, they had a dollar on it, Ultra Pro deck box for collectible cards, I'm not sure what that is really, yep, it's a lot of stuff this weekend guys, a lot of stuff. As you can see, and uh, we're going to do fairly well. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, I'm trying to mix it up every now and then. Uh, throw a, a different type of video out there for you guys to watch. Get a different side of the whole picking slash thrifting slash reselling process. Um, as many of you guys know, if you're new to this channel, what I do on a normal basis is go trash picking. Uh, go out and find uh, this real nice stuff that people throw out on the side of the road that I can use to resell. Uh, some of it I give it away, and uh, and some of it I end up using myself, to be honest. And uh, we use that money that we make to go garage selling. We find this stuff at garage sales, try to find it at a really good price, and uh, flip it to make a little bit of money. Y'all tell me, what was the best thing that you guys think I found? Was it the records? Was it the toys? Was it something else? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. All right, guys, so here is a moment that y'all been waiting for. We're going to pick the winner of the necklace. Let me show you guys what we got. So here's the necklace right here, the one that y'all saw on the last video. Nice looking necklace there. 
And this is the place that I picked because I think it kind of matches. It's a real pretty green, um, just like a little dangle bracelet, I guess. And it's got this little locket here at the bottom that opens up as well, as you can see there. And I think they kind of go well together. What do y'all think? All right, so we're gonna go on to the channel here. I already got the link ready. We're gonna post it here. We want to pick a keyword. That keyword is gonna be winner. And let's go. So everybody here, there's a lot of comments. All right, out of all the comments, 259, I'm sorry, 249 eligible comments. Let's go. And the winner is Adolphin Murray. Adolphine Murray, congratulations. You're the winner of the bracelet and the necklace. I will leave a comment in the video pinned. And uh, you go ahead and send me an email with information and we'll get this sent out to you. Congratulations, Dolphin. And we'll go ahead and close off the video with this. Lord, just want to thank you, Father, for uh, just your abundance, Father. Um, your blessings, your love, uh, your mercy, Lord. Uh, we're so unworthy, yet you're so giving and so loving and you, and, and you, and you do this for us anyways. And, uh, and we just thank you for that, Father. Uh, we want to thank you, Lord, for our health. Thank you for uh, blessing our marriages. We ask you, Lord, to bless our marriages, our finances. Uh, continue to, to, to work in our lives, Father. Um, as we just journey through this, uh, through this life, Lord. And uh, we ask you, Father, that you would lay out a path for us to walk, Father. Uh, open doors that need to be open and close doors that need to be closed, Father. Um, we ask you that you work in our lives. Continue to bless us. I ask you, Lord, that you would not only uh, just watch over me and my family, Lord, but you'd also watch over those who are watching, uh, that you'd bless those who are uh, watching right now, Father, that you'd bless them and all their needs. Uh, you know their hearts. You know their desires, Father. Uh, we ask that you would move in their lives and that you would continue to, to, to bless them in ways that they wouldn't even imagine, Father. And for those who are watching now, um, that you would plant a seed in their heart, Lord, that they want to get to know you more and that... Uh, to have a relationship with you, Father, because that's really the only way that uh, these these voids that we have in our hearts that we try to fill with 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 drinking, with drugs, with sex, with pornography, all these vices, Lord, that are just bringing this country down and the, ro and the world, really, um, they can only be filled through your love, through your mercy, and through a relationship with you. Father, I just want to thank you again um, just for your love, uh, for, for everything that you do for us, Father, and uh, we just ask you to continue doing it and uh, Help us live a better life to, to help serve you better. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I uh, definitely enjoyed uh, showing you guys all the stuff that I found. Um, not a big fan, again, instead of doing the garage sale videos as far as going and filming. Uh, I move around real quick and in and out. Um, and, I tr and I don't think that that's really a good viewing <laughs> um, uh, experience for y'all and instead of trying to slow down and waste time and film all the stuff and try to get a good angle... <laughs> I'd rather just uh, go in there, get the stuff that I know I want, get stuff that I know I like, and ask the questions, get out, and get to the next one, and then show you the recap at the end. So, give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of video. Leave a comment if you want to see certain other types of videos. Let me know if you guys like this video or not. Yeah, so just let me know what you guys think, guys, in the comments. And uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Till next time. Peace.